All right, everybody, welcome back. This is going to be a 2022 slash 2023 year in review video for Nolan's HO Scale Empire. Let's get into it. All right, so like I said, this is going to cover um, the last couple of years because I didn't do one last year and this year. So the overall main things we did was everything on this side of the main backdrop including the branch up there um, is working uh, the helix was completely checked out track cleaned we went ahead and shaved up top for clearance sake so stuff does run on that we did a test run over the bridge we do need to fix the track on there but stuff does run over it so technically this is operable. Um, we can't run up at the moment because we need to do stuff on these slot car tracks. So that's one of the next major hurdles we're going to have to cross. Um, pretty much Nashville area was basically completed as far as track and wiring. Um, it has been prepped for block detection. All the sub buses are run. We finished two panels. We finished this one right here. We finished the one in the uh, over there for Randor Yard. Engine terminal area itself still is not hooked up. We've had other stuff going on, but all the controls are in place for it, along with the controls for programming track and two of the lighting circuits, as well as toggle switches for the roundhouse tracks. Um, the Gulch Yard over there has been powered. All the tracks are hooked in. They're hooked up to toggle switches right there, so you can turn them on and off. We have started the scenery over in this area. I'm going block by block. Um, and you see the start of it. So like that one right there. I put the fence up. And actually raise the height of it up. It's hyped itself up. So we're doing that. Uh, moving over to this area. This, this year and last also saw the completion. And this is much more recently. Um, the line behind the wall is completely done so the continuous run loop is finished it's operable and we have the second connection from the back track through the wall and into that space which you can just barely see it where that tunnel portal is laying on its side um, very recently as in the last couple months we started repairing the scenery on that mountain I'm slowly working on this whole area right here, so we're going to have a lift-out section there. That part is going to be a lift-out section, so we can actually get to the track work. And then eventually we'll take foam and we'll bring this out and go ahead and, you know, actually carve it and finesse it and show it. Coming over here, this area has had a complete total revamp as far as scenery. Uh, there's still track painting and weathering to be done, but... That rock work has been recolored. This new rock work here is in the process of being colored. And then we've come back and we've touched up and renewed all the scenery through here. And then additionally, we also put a brand new double-sided backdrop in the middle here. So one scene on this side. Uh, this is the new backdrop. And we have the scene on the other side. Coming into this area has had a very big number of changes. Um, the track was already here. As you can see, the last couple of years, though, we have completely lit all of this up. As a matter of fact, I'll show you all real quick. Um, if I can turn the power pack on. Hang on a minute. This is one of the older ones. I can't remember what on switch is. Okay. There we go. So you can kind of see it. But we've hooked up all the accessory lines. So everything on this side is brand new. Uh, we also got the lights in the backdrop and the buildings reconnected. Um, you see we got more through here. So this is all 
It's all powered and ready to go. We did an addition to the side right here for the brewery company. Um, depot is in. It's waiting to get lights on the platform. Then we started doing scenery over here. And we did some more touch-up work on scenery here, including along the back wall to blend it into the backdrop. Um, so that has been the majority of the last couple of years. Um, and of course, a lot of that comes with wiring. Oh, the other thing we've done was the control panel I started is mounted and ready to go. Um, it's in there. I actually need to mount it properly. You can see it's all ready and everything. I just need like one more. Uh, toggle switch right there for the engine tracks. It's ready to be wired up. We've got PNO hinges. I mean, hinges to hold it up. And then, of course, we need to take the gaps right here around the sides and plug all this up so we can come in here with scenery. Um, this is capable of being backlit. I had it made specifically with that purpose in mind. And we'll put some reflective foil or whatever in there if we need to. So that's what the last couple of years have been focused on is that stuff. Um, and of course with the addition of now that the continuous run is done, its test is actually operational. Um, we've been doing a lot more running trains recently. Um, we're to the point where we're starting to shift our general focus from about 85, 90% getting stuff running and 10% worrying about ops and rolling stock to probably 80% worrying about ops and rolling stock and scenery and focusing in on that. So goals for 2024, like I just said, scenery and ops, we've restarted as you can see rehashing the scenery um, obviously get the rest of the controls panel control panels redone wire that one up I'll get the actual front for that panel and then make a new one to control basically the curve around there and all this through here um, I just recently found a map of how the LNN was arranged in uh, Chattanooga so that's really really going to help but those two, op scenery, and just get into that. And then the third one uh, is signaling. So, again, the first major step. Well, actually, this is all 2023. I think I did an end of year review for 2022, but I can't remember. Whatever. Um, anyways, all the layout, all this on this side of the backdrop. Again, as I redid it, it is already segmented off and blocked for signaling. The few areas, there's only a couple areas over here where we have to finish up stuff, which is this. Obviously, it's not going to be signaled. And then the area right there where the whole steel plan is going to go. Um, we already have a rough track plan for that, so I've already gap tracked off. And all we have to do under there is just adjust stuff at terminal blocks, remove some jumpers, and tie the in and feed it through. Um, first step in that is going to be doing a test board, which I've already got started about five months ago. <laughs> it's just been sitting there for a while. I'm fixing to get back on that. And then once we do that and... It meets, meets Rich's satisfaction, even though I told him a hundred times I know how to do the wiring part of it. That actually makes sense to me. Um, we'll go ahead and I'm going to take the components off of that, and I'll bring them back in here, and we'll get started installing them. So pretty much this track, front track from where it comes out of staging, all through here onto this this whole area in through here um, is going to be the first section of layout that we're going to signal. So I'm actually starting with this because it's going to be a little simpler. But that's the first area we're going to start. 
Um, the branch line isn't as complicated track wise. It really is a single track branch with a bunch with a bunch of passing sidings. But you see this area first when you walk in, so it's kind of like start with first impression thing. Anyways, that's pretty much the year in review for last year for 2023 and a tiny bit of 2022, I think. Like I said, I don't remember if I did a year in review video um, and what we're looking for. Oh, I'll, and a part of scenery I will add eventually. Nolan has said he wants to redo these backdrops, so that's going to include some changes in the very, very back uh, with some retaining walls and multiple levels of building flats and all that to blend the 3D into the 2D and get that looking real good. Um, anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, as always, thank you for watching. Um, I, Nolan says he is loving the fact that so many of y'all are enjoying this. Again, if you are within anywhere within an hour and a half of Fayetteville, Tennessee, come on over and see this. We could always use people to help build it uh, and especially to help operate it because this layout can probably take 15 people easy once we get the operations up and going. So anyways, yeah, thanks for watching and more to come for this amazing layout in 2024. <laughs>